I do folks, how you doing? Just a quick one. Um, I wasn't going to really put any sort of response up or uh, reaction up to this latest round of bollocks from your favourite government. Um, but, I suppose I've got to address it really. So, trying to keep it as untechnical as I can. What a load of bollocks. <laughs> And it is all a load of bollocks. It is for the consenting. It is for the bear. It's for the sheep of you. Why react? Why does everybody... Oh, look, oh, no, I'm getting bombarded with messages and, and things showing me what they're doing. <gasps> this is only the start of it. <laughs> Fuck me if this surprises you. Wait till they're pinning you down to the ground with a knee in the back of your neck arm twisted up your back so they can fucking jab you. <laughs> it's only the start, folks. And it's plain and simple. I, I mean, if I had six friends, I'd say come on round and let seven of us stand there until some fucker comes to us. Because there's nothing they can do unless you consent. It is plain and simple. Hello, what are you all doing here? Don't answer questions. Oh, 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 oh. I, I'm going to have to take your names. Don't say nothing to that, because they haven't asked a question. Can I have your name, please? Don't answer questions. you got to give your name. Don't answer questions. Why? Don't answer questions. What about you? Don't answer questions. Don't answer questions. Don't answer questions. Don't answer questions. No questions answered. No names given. They can't fucking arrest you. They can't do fuck all but walk away. Or stand there looking like pricks all day long, being told you don't answer questions. It's the only words you have to say. I do not answer questions to any question they ask. But don't be thinking you can answer some questions and not others. So what you're doing here, you can't just say, oh, we're just minding our own business to go in about it. No, I don't answer fucking questions. If you want to answer some questions, be prepared to answer all the fucking questions. Stop pissing about people. It's absolutely ridiculous. And stop reacting to every fucking thing they do. I mean, people are still wearing fucking masks. Not just people. Every people, every people. I've been everywhere. <clears throat> I'm out and about, or I've been places already today. I've, I've, I went. I've got a pipe gone, so I've had to go looking for a pipe. So I thought, B and Q, quick, fly into there. Not a cunt in there, not wearing a mask, and face shields and the fucking whole shebang. <sighs> Seriously, nobody says boo to me. So as nobody's saying boo to any fucker that don't wear a mask, and I haven't had anybody say boo to me yet, nobody said one damn thing. Not why you're not wearing a mask, can you put a mask on, not nothing, nobody said anything to me. It can't just be me. All I see is fucking internet people saying they're getting challenged. But all you have to say is no, and walk on. Uh, and you have to wear a mask, no. You've got to wear a mask, no. Just walk on, don't get into conversations. There's absolutely no point whatsoever in conversing with these fucking idiots. If they're daft enough to think they can enforce it on you, they're going to be daft enough to just fucking look at you with that dumb look on their face while you're telling them everything. You're not educating them, it's bouncing off them. It's just boink, 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 boink. The sheep, it don't work. This, the fucking fur is uh, wool, it bounces. <laughs> it's springy. And, and your fucking, your, your vibrations and frequencies from your voice is just hitting the boink, boink, boink. <laughs> so uh, all I can say to anybody, anybody who hasn't got the confidence, hasn't got um, the, uh, the need to speak up, to just, I don't answer questions to literally any question you ever fucking answered. If somebody gives you an order and they haven't got any authority to give you that order, you walk on by, ignore the fuckers. If you don't want confrontation, just ignore them. Excuse me, just keep walking. Excuse me, you must wear a mask. And if they really follow you, just turn around. You a fucking stalker. Piss off. They're nobody. They're nobody at all. And, and I don't even believe it had happened. I really, I saw the saddest, saddest sight yesterday. This little old lady, and I, I mean, fucking two days under God, at least. She was old, old woman, bent over with a frame, a Zimmer frame, coming into a shop, 
and she's got this fucking placard round her neck that's been properly done somebody sent it to a printers and asked them to make it on this piece of fucking plastic and just put it on a piece of string around her neck I'm exempt, please don't harass me for not wearing a mask I have health conditions well fuck me, who the fuck's going to harass a woman that looks like she's at least in her 90s and struggling to fucking walk on a Zimmer frame? Why is this fear being instilled in people? I'll tell you why, because everybody is perpetuating it. Everybody's perpetuating it. Everybody out there who's sending me shit must be sending it to fucking everybody. You're perpetuating it. Stop sending me things that Matt fucking Hancock says or fucking Boris the florist says I don't give a flying fuck what they say it doesn't affect me in the slightest not in the slightest for starters I'm evidenced as sovereign I'm in the fucking private they have no effect on me whatsoever and could not affect me in any way shape or form you guys want to carry on as if nothing's happening and then just fucking oh every time something fucking comes up you're the ones who are fucked not me I don't need all this fucking information what the government's saying. I, I don't switch my television on for that very fucking reason. It's as simple as that. Don't listen to the shit. I see a post with Matt Hancock on it. I scroll by, I don't even read the cunt. I see a post with any of the fucking politicians on. I don't read it. It's of no interest to me whatso fucking ever because they have no authority other than that which you give them and I've spent quite a lot of times, quite a lot of fucking money and, and an awful lot of fucking effort evidencing the fact that they have no authority whatsoever over me so why the fuck would anybody out there presume that they do and keep sending me this bollocks don't, don't just don't send it, stop looking at it yourselves stop reading it, it only, it only has the power that you give it you're giving it the power by sharing it and showing everybody, look, 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 what's that? So now everybody's going, oh no, look, and they want to share it as well, and you're happy because, oh, everybody's sharing my stuff, look. Yeah, of course. All the bollocks shares. Try putting some fucking truth out there. They have no authority. None at all. None. Zero. Fucking, you must. Look up the definition of must. It tells you, see, see the definition of mandatory. Look up the definition of fucking mandatory. It tells you plain and simple. The last few words of the fucking definition of mandatory on Black's Laws Dictionary will tell you that it is down to your own discretion. Mandatory is, it's them compelled to tell you. That's mandatory. But after being told, it is down to your own discretion. Mandatory. So stop falling for the fucking wordplay. If you're not prepared to look at what the words really mean, listen to the ones that are telling you what they really fucking mean. Because it's all a load of bollocks. They've got no authority. The police have no authority or power to follow the whims of Parliament, and that's exactly what they're doing. And I don't care if they drag you to the police cells. That doesn't mean you're going to prison for fucking ever. They're going to release you within fucking a couple of hours if you just shut the fuck up. Stop talking to them. Don't give them any fucking names. They've got no authority to do what they're doing. You tell them, it's fucking, this is abduction, it's kidnap. There's a fee schedule in place. This is 100 million pound. Do you accept my fee schedule? And I guarantee the fucking one of the idiots is going to say yes. And that's the Crown Corporation saying yes, they accept your fee schedule. Play them. Work it. Just fucking work it. They're dumb as a box of frogs. They are not in any way, shape or form trained in law. They couldn't possibly be because if they were trained in the fucking law, they would step down from their jobs immediately or have to arrest each other. They break laws every single day to get an act and statute on you, which is not law. They just want to get an act on you. They want, oh yeah, we've got some codes here. Oh, let's pull him in. An infringement of our rules that you consent to. If you don't consent to them, they're not your fucking rules, are they? And they're most certainly not fucking laws. No matter how much a dumbass copper's going to tell you that they are fucking laws, they're just fucking not. The police are not trained in the law. Ask them, are you trained in the law? He's going to tell you, no, I'm not. I'm not going to argue with you. That's because they can't fucking argue with you because they're not trained in the fucking law. They just need your consent. They need your acquiescence. They need your fucking consent by giving them your full fucking name. If you don't give them your full name and you don't answer any questions, they cannot possibly get 
any jurisdiction on you whatsoever. They've got no legal joinder over you, and if they do go as far as to break the law to take you to the police station, keep that shit up, because no matter how much they tell you they're going to put you in a fucking court, they're not. Because if they did, you would stand straight up and say, I have a counterclaim. I have a counterclaim. Abduction. False imprisonment. Blah, 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 blah. Ask them for a pen and paper. When they're asking for your name, if they ever take you to a police station, and they're saying, give me your name, say, give me a pen and paper, and he'll say, no. Now you want the fucking footage. That's against the Geneva Convention. It's a war crime. They must give you their, not must, <laughs> they have to give you, they are compelled under law, under war crimes, to give you a pen and paper. And I guarantee you the dumbass motherfuckers will not give you that pen and paper because they so desperately need you to say that name, not write it down. And if they did write it down, you just put of the family in between and you're fucking covered. Stop playing the games. Stop falling for this shit. And stop falling for their propaganda because it's all it fucking is propaganda you got to do this you got to do that and they're gonna do another lockdown and you're all gonna fall for that fucker as well grow up for fuck's sake you know when they fucking say another lockdown get your fucking arse out as opposed to getting on the internet telling every fucker because you're telling every fucker that's probably heard everything anyway they put this shit on the news and every fucking sheep reads watches the fucking news and they think because they get it off the internet they're not watching the news yes you fucking are the news is as bad as the fuck. Uh, the internet's as bad as the fucking uh, TV news now. They own it all. They're all over the fucker. Some are obvious under the names of BBC and, and Sky, and some aren't so fucking obvious under the names of various groups and bollocks you'll find on here. <sighs> Lad Bible, for instance. Lad Bible. I don't look at it, but ages, years ago, I've got things on my on my groups from years ago. And years ago, I used to look at it, uh, and I realised that it was government run. And now, any any fucking uh, Boris the Florist or Matt Hancock fucking government uh, press conference or TV update or anything, they play live on their fucking on Lad Bible. They play it all live, and people can't work this shit out. It's all a game. They own every side every fucking side there are one or fucking two real ones out there to every hundred fucking shills and bullshit talker it's all a load of crap wake up folks wake up because you're fucking not <laughs>